Hi and welcome to my maths class. In this video we are going to discuss the nature of the roots. You need to first understand what does the word roots mean. Roots is the answer you get when solving an equation. So if we were to solve this equation, we have x plus 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to minus 1. So when they say the nature of the roots, they are talking of the characteristics minus 1 and minus 2 have. Now going back to your complex number system that we have discussed in the revision exercise of grade 10, you will remember that we had complex numbers and then we had real and non-real. But in nature of the roots, that is not where they stop. They also go into equal, which means do they have equal answers? Is x equal to 1 and the other one x is equal to 1? Next, they discuss if it is rational. And last, they discuss if it is irrational. Now, to describe the roots, of this question. We know it's minus 2 and minus 1. So we know it is real, meaning there is defined answers for this equation. Next, we know that they are rational because minus 2 and minus 1 are both integers. How do we do this description without actually solving the equation? The method is as follows. Number 1, you're going to mark your A, B, and C. So in this case, my A is equal to 1, my B is equal to 3, and my C is equal to 2. Number 2, you're going to substitute it into B squared minus 4AC. So I'll have B squared minus 4AC, 3 squared minus 4 into 1 times 2 that gives me 9 minus 8 which is equal to 1. Number 3 you root the answer. So if I root 1 I'm going to get it's equal to 1. Now when you get the answer your answer can go as follows. Number 1 it can equal to 0. Number 2, it can be greater than 0. The 3 can be less than 0. Now, if it is equal to 0, it is equal and rational. If it is greater than 0, it will be rational or irrational. And the last one is if it is less than 0, then it is non-real. Non-real meaning that the equation has no solution. So non-real means the equation has no solution. Now if you look at the answer that we got, 1. 1 is greater than 0, which means that I can tell you that it is going to be rational or irrational. Now how do I decide if it is rational or irrational? If when you rooted the answer, and it was a perfect square, then it will be rational. But if it is not a perfect square, then it will be irrational. Let us do the following example. x squared minus 4x plus 4. 
Describe the nature of the roots of x squared minus 4x plus 4 without solving the equation, which means you cannot make it equal to 0 and then get x is equal to something and describe it from that. It means you may not solve the equation. So what are the steps? Number 1, we're going to mark our a, b, and c. Then we are going to substitute it into the formula b squared minus 4ac. So I've got minus 4 squared minus 4ac. Now bringing your attention to this minus 4. If you are going to use your calculator, make sure that you put in your brackets. If you put in your brackets, you will get the correct answer. But if you do not put in your brackets, then you would get negative 16. The correct answer is 16 minus 16, which is equal to 0. If you did not put in your brackets, then you would end up with negative 32. Now, look at our answer. If we root 0, we're going to get 0. 0 falls into this category where it is equal to 0. How do we describe the nature of this root? Number 1, it is equal. And number 2, it is rational. If you were to factorize this equation, you will see that the answer is x minus 2, x minus 2, which shows that they are equal. Thank you for watching this video.